Back in 1964, a beloved TV series hit the screens, bringing laughter and heartwarming moments to households across the nation. It was a show that left a lasting impression, capturing the essence of camaraderie and humor in a military setting. As we delve into the history of this classic series, we uncover fascinating tidbits and surprising anecdotes from behind the scenes. From heartwarming stories to shocking revelations, the journey through the world of this show is full of twists and turns. Among the diverse cast of characters, there's sure to be one that stole your heart. Each role brought something special to the table, making it difficult to pick just one favorite. But beyond the characters and storylines lies a deeper connection the memories and personal experiences that this show evokes in its viewers. Whether it's a fond recollection of watching it with family or a personal connection to the themes explored, everyone has their own cherished moments associated with this timeless gem. So, as we embark on this trip down memory lane, let's remember to share our stories and reflections. After all, it's these personal connections that truly bring the magic of the show to life. Get ready to laugh, cry, and reminisce as we explore the world of this beloved TV series. And remember, your stories matter, so don't hesitate to share them with us. In the mid-1960s, a beloved TV series marched onto screens and captured the hearts of viewers everywhere. Picture a world where laughter fills the air, where mistakes lead to smiles, and where a humble character becomes a cherished icon. This show, set in the United States Marine Corps, brought a comedic twist to military life. Each week, audiences tuned in to follow the adventures of the lovable main character, portrayed by Jim Neighbors. Beyond just providing laughs, it reflected the values and trials of its time. This TV gem didn't just entertain, it became a cultural sensation, leaving a lasting impression on television history. In the TV series, servicemen are never depicted wearing dog tags, a deviation from military norms where not having them, while on duty is considered a violation of uniform standards. Despite the absence of this essential identification, the characters carry on with their Marine Corps duties. Sergeant Carter, a prominent figure in the series, sports a watch on his right wrist and an ID bracelet on his left. During that era, Idaho bracelets were a common form of men's jewelry, reflecting the fashion trends of the time. This minor detail adds a touch of realism to the character's appearance and aligns with the fashion choices of the period. A notable crossover reference occurs in Green Acres' parody Begins at Home. The connection between the two series underscores the interconnected nature of television shows during that time, possibly providing viewers with some unexpected moments of recognition and entertainment. These nuanced details, such as the absence of dog tags, Sergeant Carter's choice of accessories, and the cross-series reference, contribute to the unique portrayal of military life in the context of the show. In the world of television, there's a special show that holds a dear place in many hearts. It all started when a talented man named Jim Neighbors was discovered by Andy Griffith in a Santa Monica nightclub. Jim brought a character to life in the series that people adored. While some of the cast members aren't with us anymore, their memory lives on through the show's fans. One actor, Forrest Compton, lived a long life and left us at the age of 94 in 2020. Jim Neighbors was the only actor who appeared in every single one of the 150 episodes, showing his commitment to the role. Others like Ronnie Shell and Elizabeth McRae are still around today, and their work on the show is fondly remembered. This TV show, with its lovable characters and unforgettable moments, continues to bring joy to audiences worldwide. During the series, Gomer held the rank of Private First Class. In 2001, the U.S. Marine Corps bestowed an honorary promotion to Lance Corporal upon Jim Neighbors. Later, in 2007, he received another honorary promotion, this time to Corporal. Frank Sutton, the actor behind Gunnery Sergeant Vince Carter, faced a different military path. Failing the U.S. Marine Corps physical in World War II, he served in the Army. Notably, Sutton participated in 14 assault landings, including Late, Luzon, Baton, and Corregidor. The show concluded after five seasons, despite strong ratings, when Jim Neighbors expressed his desire to pursue a musical variety show. The Jim Neighbors Hour, airing from 1969-71, became his next venture. Plans to continue the original show shifted to Maybury RFD. However, when Sutton and Ronnie Shell joined Neighbors on his new program, those plans were abandoned. Set against the military backdrop, the series refrains from delving into the Vietnam War, despite airing during its time. Andy Griffith, envisioning a spin-off for the character, sought to place him in the most challenging setting, leading to the creation of the U.S. Marine Corps narrative. 
Ben Wong, a background actor, consistently appears throughout most episodes as one of Gomer's platoon mates, with a notable exception in which he receives a speaking role and screen credit as Larry and Home on the Range. Jim Neighbors found watching the show's opening challenging due to the loss of many Marines he marched with in Vietnam. Alan Melvin, recognized for his roles in various TV shows, gained prominence for his portrayal of Sergeant Charlie Hacker in the series. Producer Sheldon Leonard mentioned that the U.S. Marine Corps provided unrestricted equipment access, believing the show would positively impact the Corps image. In the TV show Gomer Pialism C, the group of guys in the barracks changes a lot. One time in a funny scene, Sergeant Carter and Corporal Boyle talk, while the background shows the other men pretending to do yard work with their tools in the air. It's these small things that make the show feel real. Gomer, the main character, often says corpse instead of corps when talking about the Marine Corps. This little mistake is funny and makes people like him even more. All these details, like the different guys in the barracks and Gomer's funny way of saying things, make the show really popular. It shows how good the creators are at telling stories that people love. In a popular TV series, there was a character who never got promoted, unlike everyone else. This character, Sergeant Vince Carter, was a seasoned soldier from Kansas. He fought in the Korean War and showed dedication and experience throughout the show. Despite his hard work, he stayed at the same rank. As the show went on, viewers saw Sergeant Carter facing many challenges. He led his team well and was loyal to his fellow soldiers. But while others got promoted, he stayed where he was. This created an interesting dynamic in the story. Each time someone got promoted, it showed their growth. But Sergeant Carter's lack of promotion made people wonder why. The creators used this as a way to tell more stories. It showed how sometimes hard work doesn't always lead to rewards in the military. Sergeant Carter's character added depth to the show, reminding us of the tough realities soldiers face. In the end, the show wasn't just about military life, but about the ups and downs people face, even when they work hard. It's a reminder that not everyone gets the recognition they deserve in the end. In Season 4, Gomer earned a Marine Corps Good Conduct Medal, a National Defense Service Medal, and an Expert Rifleman Badge. These accolades highlight his commitment and proficiency in the Marine Corps. The iconic scene of marching recruits in each episode was filmed at the Marine Corps Recruit Depot in San Diego, Ca. This setting added authenticity to the show's portrayal of military life, grounding it in the real-life training grounds of the United States Marine Corps. Sponsored by General Foods, the show featured advertisements for popular products like Shake and Bake, Jell-O, and Good Season Salad Dressings. This sponsorship played a significant role in the show's financial support and broadcast. In essence, Gomer Pyle's character development within the Marine Corps, the authentic portrayal of recruit training in San Diego, and the sponsorship by General Foods are key elements that contribute to the show's unique appeal and cultural significance. Despite its humble beginnings, the series quickly gained popularity, maintaining a strong presence in the top 10 for all five seasons. Lieutenant Colonel Gray, a central character, boasted an impressive array of military honors, including the Silver Star and the Legion of Merit. In 2017, Gomer Pyle was honored with an unusual distinction, receiving an honorary promotion to sergeant from the U.S. Marine Corps Commandant. Though the show experienced a slight dip in its third season, it remained a consistent favorite, landing in the top three for four out of its five seasons. In handling viewer inquiries about Gomer Pyle during the Vietnam War, producer Aaron Rubin sought guidance from the Department of Defense. The then Commandant of the Marine Corps advised keeping him in the United States, avoiding the grim realities of war. Rubin, recognizing the lack of humor in depicting combat tragedies, followed this advice. Forrest Compton, initially a captain, rose to the rank of colonel and assumed the role of base commander on the show. Jim Neighbors, a savvy businessman, co-owned the series, reaping financial rewards from its popularity and syndication. Rubin's decision to keep Gomer stateside, Compton's promotion, and Neighbors' business acumen collectively shaped the trajectory of the series, contributing to its enduring success. Decorated with a Bronze Star, Purple Heart, Navy Presidential Unit Citation, Marine Corps Good Conduct Medal, World War II Victory Medal, National Defense Service Medal, Korean Service Medal, UN Service Medal, and a Korean Presidential Unit Citation, Carter boasts an impressive military record. Notably, he proudly displays expert riflemen and expert pistol marksmanship badges. The character Gomer Pyle owes his name to Everett Greenbaum's clever combination of Gomer Cool for the first name and Denver Pyle for the last. It's a simple yet effective naming origin. Jim Neighbors, who portrayed Gomer Pyle, shared that watching the show's opening was always challenging for him. 
The reason being, many of the men marching alongside him were later killed in the Vietnam War, adding a somber layer to the show's legacy. These behind-the-scenes details offer a glimpse into the making of the iconic series and the personal reflections of those involved. The show's production and the experiences of its cast highlight the realities of both the fictional world of Gomer Pyle and the harsh realities faced by the men who inspired it as shared by Jim Neighbors himself. In one episode of the show's third season, the main character joins the U.S. Marines. However, when the regular series began, this aspect seemed to be ignored. In the first episode, he's shown getting a military haircut, but the sergeant has never met him before. Out of the 13 actors who appeared in 10 or more episodes, only two are still alive, Ronnie Shell and Elizabeth Macri. Ronnie Shell turned 90 in December 2021, while Elizabeth Macri celebrated her 86th birthday in February 2022. The SMC station where Pyle is stationed is called Camp Henderson. In the TV series, Sergeant Carter held the rank of gunnery sergeant while Sergeant Hacker's rank was Staff Sergeant. Interestingly, the pilot episode, which aired as the season four finale of The Andy Griffith Show, initially portrayed the base as Camp Wilson in North Carolina. However, when the series officially launched, the setting was shifted to Camp Henderson in California. This change in location added a different flavor to the show's dynamics, with the California setting offering new opportunities for storylines and character development. The shift might have been a nod to the practicalities of production, or perhaps a creative decision to explore different aspects of military life. Whatever the reason, it certainly contributed to the unique charm of the series. Such nuances often go unnoticed by casual viewers, but are appreciated by dedicated fans who delve deeper into the show's background and production details. It's these subtle touches that add depth to the storytelling and enhance the overall viewing experience. So next time you watch Gomer Pyle as MC, pay attention to the setting. It's more than just a backdrop, it's an integral part of the narrative tapestry. In the realm of classic television, there exists a beloved show that holds a special place in the hearts of many. This particular TV series has a unique charm that has kept audiences captivated for decades. Its story revolves around a group of characters stationed at Camp Henderson, each with their own quirks and personalities. The setting provides a backdrop for various adventures and misadventures, all underscored by the bonds of friendship and humor. One notable aspect of this show is its commitment to authenticity, even in the smallest details. Despite his rank as a gunnery sergeant, one character is never referred to by the common term gunny, adding depth to his portrayal. It's these subtle nuances that enhance the viewer's experience and contribute to the show's enduring appeal. Throughout the episodes, viewers are treated to a plethora of memorable moments infused with humor and camaraderie. These scenes, set against the backdrop of a military base, offer a glimpse into a bygone era of television. As we reflect on the legacy of this beloved series, it's clear that it transcends the confines of its genre. It's fascinating how things behind the scenes can shape a TV show's journey. For instance, did you know that Sergeant Carter's girlfriend, Bunny Harper, sometimes had her home setting changed subtly from episode to episode? And Duke Slater's first name is Gilbert, a detail not widely known. Initially, CBS was hesitant about the show because it focused on the military, worrying it might not appeal to female viewers. But producer Danny Thomas stepped in and threatened to take the show to NBC if CBS didn't change their mind. This made CBS reconsider and eventually accept the show, realizing it had a broader appeal than just its military theme. It's amazing how negotiations and creative choices can make a big difference in a show's success. And these insights remind us that even our favorite TV shows have their own untold stories. Ronnie Shell, good friends with co-stars Jim Neighbors and Frank Sutton, left the show after the third season. He starred in another series called Good Morning World. When he returned after the cancellation of his show, his absence on Gomer Pileism, C was explained by having Duke go to the Marines Leadership School and getting promoted to Corporal. In season one, a 49 star S flag was mistakenly used in the main title sequence due to a prop department oversight. This error was rectified in season two when the entire sequence was reshot with the correct 50 star flag. In the show, Gummer's middle name starts with an S, revealed through a close up of his paycheck in an episode titled Payday. This detail adds a personal touch to Gomer's character, offering a glimpse into his identity. While Sergeant Carter is committed to Bunny in much of the series, he explores romantic interests with other women. One such relationship is with Lou Ann Poovey, who eventually becomes Gomer's steady girlfriend. 
This dynamic adds complexity to Sergeant Carter's character, showcasing the challenges of his personal life alongside his military duties. These relational twists contribute to the show's narrative, depicting the characters' lives beyond their military roles. The interplay between Gomer, Sergeant Carter, and the women in their lives creates a layer of realism and depth, making the series more than just a military-focused storyline. In a surprising twist, a sad event happened during the making of the series. One of the actors, Frank Sutton, who played Sergeant Carter, went through a tough time when his wife passed away. Despite his sadness, Sutton continued acting in the show with professionalism. This was a sad time for him, and it affected the show in a serious way. Even though the series was mostly funny, it tackled some important topics. For instance, in one episode called Opie Joins the Marines, Opie from the Andy Griffith show visits Camp Henderson. This episode showed how military life can affect families and communities. People loved Gomer Pyle's character because he was innocent and saw the world in a simple way. His famous phrases like Shazam and Gali are still remembered by fans today. The show was praised for its portrayal of military life and the strong friendships formed between soldiers. It gave viewers a peek into the close bonds and challenges faced by those serving in the Marine Corps. Even though it ended in 1969, Gomer Pyleism. C is still remembered as a classic sitcom that brought humor and heart to military life.